I want you to see which hand is shorter, which one is longer, and I want you to put up your short hand. Show me. Look at your hand. Is it closing? Look at the hand. One will be shorter, one will be longer. If it's the same, doesn't matter any one of the hand. But look at the short hand. Is it shorter? So put up your short hand. Show me your short hand. All of you show me your short hand. If it's the same, doesn't matter. Pick up any of the hand. Just any of the hand, okay? Any of the hand too? Show me which one. Okay. Everyone of you got it. Okay. Now I want all of you to look at the hand. The one that is short hand. Huh? Look at the short hand. Take the other hand. Put on the short hand. Like this and say, grow longer. So what can you do? <laughs> listen, listen, listen. Now we talk seven times, yeah. Listen, listen, I know. Okay, you need to be like, no, you give no. Listen, listen, listen. Okay, listen. You must look three times and say, grow longer. Okay, look at the hand and say, grow longer. Start one, two, three, go. Grow longer.
put back whatever you take in this place, you put back whatever you take in your place, you put back whatever you take in your place. You'd be amazed that within a few days you start putting back everything else. Children who come years old, you know, easy program. Both my children have been programmed. They said all 10 days wants to do this. It's a simple as well, only day ones, day one. my son got in, day one, my daughter got in. They want to say exams, you know. Simple, you just need to have a program. Unfortunately, most of the children. So those who are married, don't go and program your wife. Don't do that. What are you doing? You say, I'm going to go to the cafe store, I'm going to go to the cafe store. The reason being because uh, if they're both in charge, so normally they are very alert. You know, I mean, you know, when they're older, when you know, people open the door, you get to wake up, right? So this is why you get to wake up. But it's so important when you have a program. Okay, let's move on. Let's move on with regard to programming. Yeah? Let's talk about programming. Okay. Uh, this is what you must remember before I teach you the techniques of programming. Yeah? A lot of people doesn't remember what vibrations you were sending five minutes ago, five minutes ago, five months ago, five years ago. It's only responding to the vibration that you're sending right now, right now, this very moment, giving you the same of the same. What it means is it doesn't matter when you walk into this room whether you're thinking you're poor, you're unlucky, you're not good at this, you're not good at that, I'm stupid in man, whatever. The important thing is what are you thinking as you walk out? Are you following? Because you can reprogram yourself and you are. Okay? So remember that, yeah? Now, this is what you need to know. Our results are based on the words we use every day. Okay? Words like for example, you say I'm okay food, that's a word. Uh, oh I will see it, that's a word. How are you? I'm broke as a word. So you must be careful of the words that you use because if you can change the words, your results will change, you know? Now this is what you need to write in your notes. So if you reset your words to create the right thoughts, you create the right vibration which will give you the correct results. Get the desired results. So if in your notes, just fill out this blank line. So you need to reset the words you use. So the moment people ask you, how are you? Fantastic. When you say that, things will start changing to you. Uh, how is life for you? Oh, I can see a bright future. It's going to be fantastic. It's going to be wonderful. You know? It's important for you to remember, yeah? When you change the words, you create the right thoughts, you create the right vibration, and then you create the right uh, results. Alright? Moving on. Now, when you actually talk about words, you must remember three words you need to uh, eliminate as much, as much as possible. These three words are the ones that create so much of problems in our life. The three words that you know have don't, not, and no. We use this word so often, don't, not, no. You know, you've got three boxes there, right on top of the boxes. I'm going to give you examples now, okay? Right on top of the three boxes there, don't, not, no. The three boxes, I'm going to give you examples now, okay? The first example is under don't. You know people say, don't forget? Huh? You, you know what I'm going to say? Who's, who, you know, you tell your wife, don't forget her, don't forget her, don't forget her, don't forget her, don't forget her. Then, when she's forgotten, I told her, don't forget her. <laughs> you are going to program the person. Remember? I told you just now, close your eyes, I said, don't think of white elephant, very dead bull. What did you remember? White elephant. So, when you say don't, so you tell the children, don't run, don't run, what do they do? Why? You know, they're holding a car, don't drop it, don't drop it, don't drop it. <laughs> don't climb the tree, oh, where's the tree? Yeah? <laughs> Don't go near the river. Oh, you you tell your husband, don't smoke. Because when you say don't something, you're programming them. So you, you need to remember deliberately about changes. So things like don't forget, don't be late. You know, you say things like don't want to be late, don't want to be late, don't want to be late. What is the emphasis? Late. And that's what will happen. Who said just now I'm a punctual person? You said a punctual? Who here is always late? There are people that are there because that's what you program yourself. I'm always late. I'm, I have a friend. He would just, uh, I'm telling you, he said, Six months, he's a type of brother. I'm going to be okay, I'm not, but you know why I always late, what you know? <laughs> anyway, so he would say that, and through now, after all, you're very irritated with him. And then what happened? He says, We will tell him, you know, uh, when I'm trying to say, uh, come and go to the dealer. He and he would say, Okay, I'll try it. But I'm always late. So, program is already done. So what normally happens is, you will get ready, go to the car, car and stop. <laughs> go into the car, start the car, I have not enough petrol, or go for petrol first. One day he came to work early, work early, none of us were there, he was early now. And then he said, okay, very good, better go for breakfast. He went and ordered breakfast, waited for his roti to come and he came back home. By the time he eat and he was half an hour The brain, and the once he put three alarms off, all three didn't work. <laughs> Brains, hey, come on, our hand can grow longer. Huh? Your brain will create the circumstances. So be careful, yeah? Uh, please don't smoke or you know, don't make. Like sometimes you tell your children, don't make careless mistakes, huh? Uh, don't break through, huh? Sometimes you are staff, you tell your staff, don't be careless, huh? What are you 
say B, tell us. So you got to change it. I don't like him. That's why I told you what they say. I don't like him. I don't like him. And uh, Mr. Tawa didn't like Florence. I don't like him. I don't like him. I don't like him. Now it's okay. <laughs> don't run or don't be an audience or that. I mean, I, mean, I don't need to write everything on that. Huh? Just an example because thank you, please stop. I am not, I'm not, I am not, I am not lazy. That is amazing. I am not jealous. I am not jealous. I tell you, this one, they, can, they are turning green inside. <laughs> Just so you cannot see. I am not going to think about it anymore. Trust me, they are going to try and try to think about it. You better not wait. Make sure you are not late. All the same thing, huh? again. The word don't, not, no. So del deliberately, but be careful. Like just now when uh, Patrick came in to, uh, to tell all of you earlier, I started the pro program. I don't think Patrick remember this. He came on the exit, yeah, Patrick. He came and said, ah, uh, uh, next week for exam, huh? don't be stressed, huh? don't be stressed. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Some people do go exam, what's your job? How about Patrick? Do you stress me or do I need some of you? Program it, is it? Okay. I'm not a quick player, that's why I saw all that. The other one is, uh, no smoking. Do you know a lot of people like to smoke at a sign that says no smoking? <laughs> no littering. Ah, this is a Malaysian style. Jungle and bomb some more. Where do Malaysians bomb some more? Underneath the sidewalk. Have you seen that or not? Wherever you see jungle and bomb some more, what about the sampah? What about this one? No touching red paint. Oh, yeah, red paint. Have you seen that? I mean, honestly, right? If you walk past, no touching red paint. You'll see it. Really, red Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No speaking and so on and so forth. Okay, okay. Right. So basically what you must do is this. You must think about what do you want instead of what you don't want. So instead of saying things like, I, I, who, who here wants to get married? Anybody here thinking about getting married? I'm going to get married. Right? So you are looking for an ideal person. Instead of thinking about what I don't like, I don't like you to smoke, I don't like that. Instead of that, you must say, what is it that you like? Unfortunately, many of us will think about what we don't like. Who here is looking for a job? Anybody here looking for a job? For example, you want to look, you will say, but I don't like it. Like, no, you must say what you like. Anything, you know, whatever you want. You think about what you want instead of what you don't want. Yeah? So that's how the programming comes in. So here, I'll give you an example how to change from the negative to the positive. Yeah? So these are all the negatives. So instead of saying, I must not forget, you must say, I must remember. So your programming now must change. So starting from today, you must say, I must remember to take a tea. I must remember to take the umbrella. I must remember to lock the door. I must remember to switch off the plug. Are you ready to the switch or whatever? I need to remember. Instead of, instead of saying that uh, I must not forget because the programming is negative. I must not panic. I am calm. I am cool. I hope I don't fail. I will succeed. I don't want to be poor. I don't want to be poor. What is the affirmation should be? I am rich or I am wealthy. I am rich or I am wealthy. I am an abundant, I am an abundance of things coming to my life. My friends, I tell you, the moment you change the way you think and talk, everything will change. And I guarantee you this today, just like law of gravity, whatever goes up must come down. <coughs> law of protection always will work for people who deliberately start changing the way they talk and think. Okay? Uh, don't be naughty. So you tell your children, instead of saying, don't be naughty, don't be naughty, don't be naughty, you say, be good. Instead of saying, don't run, you say, walk slowly, walk carefully. Yeah? Uh, don't look as mistake, you said, be careful. Don't be afraid, be strong, and okay. so on and so forth. So, this is some examples of how you can do the conversion, yeah? With regards to how you make it possible, okay? Right, then move on. Let me finish up today. This is uh, the last, uh, I think the second last page now. Three deliberate formula for attraction, three step formula. I'm going to cover all the three steps today to tell you how it's done. I have to be brief because I only have about 20 minutes to finish this off. But I need to understand this will work, will work if you do your own research. For those of you who are keen to come for my one-day program on the 21st of December, I'll give you the details later. You can come then, I'll go and spend more time on this. And I'll explain to you exactly, and then we'll do a role play with this work. Right? But these are the three things you must know. First, you must identify what you want in your life. You got to identify your desire. You must know what you want in life. Okay, like the, the Michael just now, his goal when I ask about, do you want to watch his goals? I mean, you want to have more money, you could understand. But more money is fine, I mean, just saying it. But you really need to know what you want. Uh, desire, objective, goals, dreams, any of this kind of yeah? Whatever that um, sounds right to you, but it's what do you want in life? Does it make sense? What do you want? I want to be clarity, a little bit of clarity. Uh, like you say, I want to be happy. The question is, what makes you happy? Does money make you happy? Relationships make you happy? Good results make you happy? Good friends make you happy? Having a beer makes you happy? I don't want to be sure, you must be more specific with regards to that. 
But you need to be like this is like this. When you come to identify your desire, right? Okay, I want to ask all of you here. I'll give you an example of how important clarity is. Huh? How many blue cars did you see on the road today? When you came here, right? And then LRT, whatever, whatever. I'm sure you look at cars, right? How many blue cars did you see on the road today? Anyone? Two? Five. Now, honestly, did you look? No, exactly, correct? Let's say I say let's meet up again tomorrow, okay? And between today and tomorrow, for every blue car you see on the road, you can write down the make of the car, the number plate of the car, and you come and give it to me, I'll give you 100 ringgit per car. <laughs> now, if I meet up with you tomorrow, do you have a list of the cars? Yes. yes. I tell you, most of you won't even sleep today. <laughs> you go to the salon, let's get there, look for the busiest road, and blue car, blue car, blue car. Blue car. <laughs> Agree? Because you are looking for a look. This is the reason why you must be very, very specific with regards to what you want. Okay, so identify your desire. I'll share, I'll share with you how we do that. Eh? Next one, give your desire attention. So once you identify it, you must give it attention. So if you say, I want uh, one million million, somebody just now mentioned about one million million, right? If you want to make one million dollars, right? You want one million, you must give attention to it for you to come. Are you following? You must give attention because only then will come to you. Because if you don't give attention, what happens? Other thoughts will fill up your mind. The weather, the you know, the politics, the newspaper, whatever, you know. When this, when the moment you read newspaper, a lot of negative thoughts will come to your mind. Agree? Yes. Who got killed? Who took bribes? Who didn't take bribes? Who got raped? Who got robbed? You know, you know. So a lot of negativity comes. I mean, one of the reasons I align myself with Boston Open University was because. I believe in continuous learning because your brain then is very focused. Because the moment you stop learning, stop studying, then you'll go back to politics, negativity, why our country like this, why this, why this, you understand that? But the moment you continuously learn, continuously upgrade yourself, you're very focused on your area, you know? And that's so powerful for me, I, as far as I'm concerned, you know? Knowledge is not really the power, applying the knowledge is powerful. But you need to gain the knowledge as well. So here you need to give attention, uh, desire, attention. And last one is, last one is, the moment you identify your desire and you give attention, things will happen. But when things are happening, you must embrace it. You must not reject it. I had one lady who came to me. She said, Mr. Kati, my dream is to marry a complete Sharuka. <laughs> First she said, I want Sharuka. I said, no. She said, somebody like Sharuka. You know, then she wrote her like, tall, handsome, speaks well, no long nose, whatever she wrote down, like, like, like. Listen, obviously I don't look at her, I don't know, right? So she wrote, wrote, wrote down everything, yeah? And then I told her, okay, you wrote down your desire, now give attention, I told her what to do, okay? Which I'll tell you shortly, yeah? So she gave the attention and said, wow, like, look like that, lah. Okay? Then the evening, or two, three days, she went to her, uh, Makanshu, and she ordered food. When you ordered food, the way you brought the food was a Bangladeshi guy. <laughs> <laughs> okay? Now, this is the idea of the guy. And then she looked at the chukka. Then it's less a Bangladeshi. No, not Bangladeshi, it's not that. Not the Indian features, you know. And she looked at the Bangla. Bangladeshi. I want you to look at the Bangla. You know, sometimes people look down, right? People look down. Sometimes, right? Because we tend to look down on people, and that's very dangerous. But you see, what she did was, the universe was sending a signal that she, they, she will find somebody like that. What she did was she rejected. What she should have said is, Oh my God, law of attention is working. I'm already starting to look at people who look like Shahrukh Khan. And one day, I'm going to find a girl who marry me. Understand that? You might not marry that guy. But at least you are accepting it. Your affirmation might be, one million dollars, our friend over there, she said one million dollars, one million dollars, one million dollars, one million dollars, one million dollars. Okay? You go back home today, suddenly you receive a check from AIA insurance for 10 US dollars. For return of some insurance policy, whatever. Hey, look at that. Ten dollars, ten dollars, ten feet, ten feet, ten feet, ten feet, ten feet, rubbish. Big mistake. The universe just sent you a signal, your one million is on the way, here's a ten US dollars for us. You follow me? You'll be amazed if you know how to love it. That's how allow is Okay? So let's go into detail now, yeah? First of all, identify your desire. Okay? Now, you need to do this. I'm going to do that with you for my financial time. Okay? I'm going to do that with you. Identify the life is the first step you to do. So what do you need to say? Identify your desire. So we have something called a priority to the contrast worksheet. 
Okay, so you need to do a work sheet. Like first you write down what you don't like, then you write down what you like. So I'm going to do a real example with you. Let's do this. My financial, my ideal financial life. Okay. So if you look at page four, right on top, you got the boxes, right? My ideal financial life. So most of you here, because I picked up the topic, because for most of you here, your dream would be to have a lot of money and have good financial life, right? So I'm going to do this. Now I'm going to not put figures in because figures are very personal. When I sit down and talk to you, they come for my program on the very first. I'm used to speak to you how to make the money. But let's work on the basis. These are some of the things you don't like about my financial life. Right? So always remember. So you can do my financial life. You can write down my uh, my what do you call my ideal boyfriend or my ideal uh, boss, my ideal company, my whatever ideal life, my ideal family, whatever. Right? So my ideal financial life. This could be the things that you always complain about. For example, not enough money. Would you agree with me? Yes. yes. Always find it difficult to settle my bills. Agree? Yes. These are things you don't like. So write down what you don't like first. Okay. Just making ends meet. To go, okay. Money flow is for You know, it's for it. Karangana should do it. Karangana does it. Some of money, some of money. Okay, that's for it. Yeah. And I can't afford everything I want. This is what people uh, affirm, right? So clarity about uh, what do I do like that eh, is how now you change it. So you write this down. You can write as many as 20, 30, 40 if you want. No problems at all. Okay. So for example, a uh, friend, your name. What's your name? Yes. What do you say? What do you say? Ramya. So Ramya says she wants to get married, means she looks for my ideal husband. So you first write down what you don't like first, then you write down what you like. Anybody here wants a ideal family? You might have, right? So write down what you don't like first, then write down. How many of you want to have a better working uh, uh, position, working environment, right? What you don't like about your work, then write down what you want to do. Convert it, yeah? So for example, not enough money. Instead of saying that, you need to say, I have an abundance of money. So every day, that's your confirmation. Abundance of money, abundance of money, abundance of money. No fixed amount here, because like I told you, the one is very personal. You can actually specifically put an amount there if you want to, a million dollars, whatever. But this is a good way to start first, to start changing the way you think. Always find it difficult to settle the My bills are paid easily and quickly. Just making ends meet, I always have excess money. How many of you like that? I always have excess money. I always have excess money. You take care of the big silver money. Do you like that? Yeah. That's I always have that. You watch, you see first. If your hand can grow longer, <laughs> go, you know anything you want to get that. You just got to see and believe it. Deliberately believe it. Yeah? Money flow is for a day. I want to give you something very magical. You must say, I have constant flow of money in multiple streams. I have constant flow of money in multiple streams. Let me tell you, if you just say this one, number four, only number four, your life will change dramatically. Okay, what you need to do, if you, some, for those of you are interested, uh, you all have a business card, right? I think some of you have a card, right? Small card, okay, right? The back of the card, this particular information. I have a constant flow of money in my and I always read it out. You know, I, I, I nowadays I feel it's so easy to, for those days, I mean, Last time when I was studying and all these people used to say, sit it out loud, stand in front of the mirror, shout it. My wife would say, what are you doing inside the shout it? Now very easy. You put your Bluetooth and they say, ah, constant flow, money, constant. Nobody knows why you're talking about the phone or your phone. You understand? Now, you know, you see a lot of people talk about the phone, right? So you just do your affirmation. You're sitting down in a train as well. Constant flow, constant flow, constant flow. You are affirming all the time. Uh, I always have enough money to purchase whatever I desire. Does it make sense? So this is how you prepare what you call a clarity contrast budget. So this is how you identify your desire. Okay, so write down what you don't like, then you convert it and write down what you do like, individually one by one. Okay, does it make sense? Okay, I'm going to move on, show you another, another example. I just need you to understand the concept first, okay? How, it's work, how, how does it work, yeah? So another example is, for example, uh, my ideal family. Maybe these are some of the things you write down about your ideal family. For example, you might say, my spouse or girlfriend spends too much of money. Maybe you don't like it, uh, you always spend too much of money. Or my children are real monsters. <laughs> <laughs> or my kids are not good in study. So the affirmation should be, uh, my, my boyfriend or my, my spouse or my girlfriend is very frugal, values money. My children are wonderful kids for discipline and obedience, for example. My kids learn to read and are outstanding in their studies, for example. So you need to all the way all over say what do you want? What do you want? I want to test all of you, yeah? Let's say one of this under what I don't like is my spouse or boyfriend or girlfriend smokes a lot. Okay? So the 
usually you don't like to listen to smoking, huh? because person smokes a lot, right? So under the contrast, my boyfriend or spouse, uh, girlfriend smokes a lot. So what do you do there? Uh, clarity. Think. The negative is smokes a lot, right? And you don't like that. What is the clarity? That's right. Many people tell me, reduce smoke, cut down smoking, remember? Don't smoke. All that has the word smoke, and that's dangerous. Instead, you must say something like, loves a healthy lifestyle, loves to feel good, uh, believes in clean air. Does it make sense? This is the reason why the conversion is very, very important. How you do it is very important. Later, you can take my business card. You can do this on your own. You can email it to me. I can come and look at the email. I say this in all of my daily programs. But hardly 3% sent me an email. Which is why I still continue to make money in doing courses. The people who get excited about the time growing and they try to make other things grow. What can you do to look at how to change their lives? Anyway, like I said, you can take on this channel. Just having my email address is also in your notes. Okay, so number two now. Yeah? So, first thing, identify your desire. Okay, identify your desire. And uh, that moment. The reason why all of you are here today for the talk is probably sometime recently you probably said, I wish I could have a better life. I wish I know something and how come other people are richer than me? How come other people are So you came for the talk. Nothing happened by chance, huh? But now it's up to you to decide how you want to implement whatever you want to learn in your life so that your life becomes better. Okay? Uh, give my desire attention. So now you've written down the arena. You know, like example, you know, my ideal wife, my ideal life, my, you know, how do you write it down? Now, how do you, for example, you write it down there, I want a million dollars. Okay, you write it down there. Now, must give attention. Now, how do you give attention? First of all, if you write it down an affirmation, I have a million dollars by, you know, 31st of August, whatever. If you write it down, or 31st of August, whatever, write it down every day. Goals become reality when you write it down. Now, let me tell you a secret thing there. Huh? Write down your goals every day. Write down, write down your goals. Whatever goals. If you're sitting by, how many of you are sitting by exam next week, right? Some of you? Write down your goals, your score. Whatever score you want in your study, you write it down. I have an A for this paper, 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 I have an A. Write it down. Write it down. There's magic in writing it down. I'm telling you today, write it down. There's magic in writing it down. Write down. A lot of people are reluctant to write down because I'm not going to type it up to me. But writing down is magic. Yes, sir. Your name? Rasik. Oh, Rasik, yes, sir. Can you write it down and you face it? Okay, that's the second one. First thing is about write down, Rasik. That's the first thing. But before you write down, the wording must be correct. And it is written in a way it's positive. Then you need to write down every day. Huh? There are many things you can do. One is writing down. Huh? Number two is, of course, you can visualize it. I mean, you can sit down and close your eye and visualize it. Or, you know, you can see your lecturer calling you and say, oh, you got A, you know, Rasik. And that, or anything you affirm. Huh? So you can play what you call a three to five minutes video. So example, huh? for some of you, you want this car, you want this house, you want this house. Correct? So you visualize, close your eyes and visualize this beautiful house. You're coming out of the house, very nice clothes. And then your, your driver will say, that one, that that's already, and you look out, you saw a BMW X6 there. Suddenly you turn around and say, where's my wife? And then you see, I feel like I'm running. <laughs> Someone would like to actually have What I'm trying to say is you can visualize it every day. You do that every day before you go to sleep. Once you wake up, three to five minutes, you will start coming to the, the reason why a lot of people don't achieve it is because they don't know what they need to do. Does it make sense? That's the problem. You've got to do it first. You've got to do it. When you start doing it, you see. So when you start doing it, the, the, the rewards will come small first. But then when you continuously do it, then it becomes a little Next one, vision board. Uh, this is this is where I think your question was. Do I stick it somewhere? Okay, there's something called a vision board you can prepare. Okay, vision board is just a board where you can cut down the picture of the car that you want, cut down the picture of the house that you want, cut down the you know you can you can take out a check and write there pay uh, Michael. Okay, and then for a date you put there one million dollars, one million ringgit, and then sign and then put it there. And look at it every day. Pay Michael. I in my wallet, I can show you la. In my wallet, I have my bank statement. You know, my bank slip, you know, ATM bank slip? I have my ATM bank slip. I have at the bottom the balance in my ATM bank slip. And I look at it every day. And I know the balance is, every time I increase the balance up, and it comes to, the money starts coming in the bank. 
is about visualizing it every day. So you can keep wherever you want to do, keep wherever you want to do. Okay? Uh, that's called vision board. The next one is prosperous spending. All these are giving attention, giving desire, and, uh, uh, attention. Eh? Prosperous spending is, you like a car, go, go to the showroom and look at a car, and, oh, nice car, I'll buy it very soon, I'll buy it. You know how most of us talk about oh, Very nice car, can I afford it? Very nice car, but I I think next slide, yeah, maybe if I bought here, maybe. What do you do in your restaurant when you take out a menu? What did you get? Small things to come in first. Does it make sense? When a small thing, then you 
come. This will come, that will come. Bangladesh will come, Sri Allah Shalom Khan, surely you will find a real Shalom Khan. Then you will start acting. You understand that? You want A is in the exam. Suddenly you want a B. But normally you will give C. So it's going to be a more closer to A now. That attitude is called allowing it to happen. Does that make sense? Are you following what I'm trying to say? So the allowing is very, very important. I'll tell you why it's so important. When you go to a computer, you know you've got uh, delete files, you know, right? You delete, delete, delete your, your files or you delete them. When you delete files, that's the file though. Is it totally deleted? Yes. Yeah, it is still in your recycle bin. This one is emptying your recycle bin. Because many of you don't realize when you delete files, it doesn't get deleted. It goes into your recycle bin. And the number four, I'm going to go forward, give you four. Last one is the most important one. I'm going to delete the recycle bin. Okay, let's talk about the first one. Tool number one is celebrate the evidence of law protection and both daily. That means when you walk out today, look at the things that now suddenly you feel is working to your advantage. Like for example, you're walking and say, I'm gonna have a safe journey back home, or I'm gonna have a smooth journey back home, I'm gonna have enjoy my lunch, or I'm gonna enjoy my dinner. I'm gonna, and let's say when you go for dinner, dinner is really nice. Wow, law protection is already working for you. Start affirming things. Are you following that? Things that's gonna make you happy today or in the next few days, you start affirming it. That means you want to start looking for it. Oh, example, Michael says, I want to have more money in life, okay? He goes out today and goes to this place to park the car in the shopping centre and he must pay five million. When you, when you drive up, you realise that the bar is open, you need to pay parking. <laughs> wow, fantastic, man. Five million saving, huh? Five million is nothing much. But, law of attracts is already working for you. You go to put the coins in the parking machine. And then, hey, uh, you know, uh, nowadays I think you've got this. Uh, okay. Last time you got, when you put coins, sometimes you've still got balance in the point because uh, it's a metered one, you know? So you look at anything like that and you say, fantastic. Anything. Uh, you go back home today, you and your wife and uh, okay, those of you ladies, huh? you go back home today, normally your husband doesn't buy you anything. Huh? Today he bought for you, uh, he brought for you flour. Okay? You look at the front thing, then you realize you're not from outside. <laughs> <laughs> but, in, but, but instead of saying, oh, love, 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 love from outside. <laughs> instead of saying that, you say, God, at least you go follow for me. Correct now? Yeah. Remember, you may get married when you buy, when, when, when you ask your husband to buy a flower, 120 ringgit, one stop of growth. And only the business is free. 120 ringgit, you know. And the guy will say, what is 120 ringgit compared to the love I have for you? <laughs> After getting married, Valentine's Day come and go, hey, we no flower. Hello, 120 ringgit. <laughs> and I'll say, you want or not? You want or not? And over the back of the I love you. <laughs> so, celebrate good things. Okay, so you, you go back home, you're often like, Razif, I think we're talking about a work environment. So, let's say Razif says, I have a wonderful time at work. I have a wonderful time at work. I have a wonderful time at work. I have a wonderful time Go to work, boss on MC. Oh, wonderful time. <laughs> then they laugh. But don't come home every day, you won't say that. But think about the ways that life becomes more useful. You understand? Anything. 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 Look for signs that law is working for you. Very, very important. You must so, which brings to me to the next one, which is record everything you're grateful for in an abundance journal. Get a notebook or some sort. You know, get, get, a, get a notebook like this. Let's just get a notebook like this, alright? And then every day, every day put a day, and at the end of the day, write down what are you grateful for. I'm so grateful that, you know, I've got a good husband and wife. I'm so grateful I've got a good relationship. I'm so grateful I've got a job. I'm so grateful I'm making money. I'm so grateful. Write down, you know what? Whatever you give attention, energy, and focus on, come to your right now. So when you are writing, I'm grateful for this, I'm grateful for this, I'm grateful for what I'm doing. You are giving attention, energy, and focus, and you will get that all the time. Does that make sense? Uh, June says she's stupid in maths. Okay? Then today she go makan, and then, then before the the how much you're talking about? 7 ringgit 45 cents. And the guy says, wow, very good in maths, no? Why are you doing that? Wow, finally my brain is already working already. Great, anything you're grateful, write it down. Anything at all. And then this thing will come, start coming into your life all the time. All the time. This is the biggest problem with marriage. Before you get married, I tell a lot of stories about marriage. If you get married, then uh, you like the girls a lot. The girls say, but I cannot go. It's okay. <laughs> No, 
thousand more women leave and he get married. One year later, oi, can I go back? I give you the other one. You see, the problem is what you focus is changed. That's why you need to write down what you think. Yeah? Okay, a lot of the world has to figure out the mode of manifestation. Okay, very powerful, huh? Very powerful. When you decide on something, I want a million ringgit, I want Shahrukh Khan, I want this, I want that, blah, blah, Let the law of attraction figure out how that thing will happen to you. Razi was talking about working relationships, so Razi said, good, you know, a happy life, whatever. Let the law of attraction figure it out how it You don't say, I want to be happy life. I want my wife to buy this for me. You cannot say, like, I want a happy life. I want my boss, huh? tomorrow fall down, I'll come back to work. You cannot say that, you know. You understand me now? When you say happy life, then the law of attraction is how to make you happy. Are you following? The more, the more. You can tell what makes you happy, but the law of attraction is how. So if you say, I want to have a million million, I want to have a million million, then you say, but my salary is so much for how Forget about it, you tell. I want a million million. Let the law of attraction send you the people. We, in our life, attract all the people, all the circumstances to get our dream to come true. Remember, I started off with a, uh, with a particular one that says, uh, thoughts become things. Whatever you think will come true. Okay? So what is important for you to do is to be, make sure that whatever you think. So start thinking and then it will come into <coughs> And the last one, this is the one I put in the tool number four. Okay? Tool number four is where you need to, you need to uh, clear your, uh, empty your recycle bin. Do go for Pono Pono. Please be careful, huh? there's no R anyway. <laughs> Don't go home and put an R in between to go to the wrong website. Okay, <laughs> okay let me explain what is this. Huh? Uh, o Pono Pono is actually a Hawaiian teaching method to cleanse your sins. It's called the cleansing system. On a daily basis, we do things. Remember, I told you about the car wrong place, put a shoe. You drive wrong, people do the same. Sometimes you don't even know, you accidentally close the door, hit the door, hit some car, whatever. People get upset with you, so say. So what you need to do, these things happen all the time. So you want to cleanse it. And do not only cleanse it, you must say these four sentences all the time in the universe. Okay? And the four sentences are, I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you. You must say all the time. I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you. I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you. This particular one uh, is explained by a gentleman by the name of Dr. Joe Vitale. If you know Joe Vitale, there's a book called Zero Limits. He explains to you about this one. All the time. All the time. Basically, what he's saying is, I love you, you tell the universe, I love you a lot. Uh, I'm so sorry, la. sometimes I don't say thank you. Please forgive me for whatever I've done. Thank you for whatever you're giving me. When you, you can say God as well, you can say, God, I love you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, thank you. God, I love you. Do you know we don't say enough thank you? We don't say enough I'm sorry. You don't have to project it to anybody. This is saying it out loud to the, the world at large, the universe at large. So whenever you say this, things will get right. So what you want to do is you want to write down the affirmations and say, I want one million, I want one million, I want one million, I want whatever, like right? At the same time, whenever you are not telling affirmation, you're driving, I love you, I love you, Just say that. Sitting in a LRT, I love you, Just say that. Whatever you're walking, just see that. You, what you're doing is you are cleansing, 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 cleansing. This is your antivirus for your walking. I'm telling you today, my friends. I have told people how to use this. So many of you know. And I get letters, emails, all the time. Thank you so much. This is fantastic. Really, really. Even if you're going into a meeting, you go to a meeting, things will be more successful. Because it cleanses whatever negative thoughts you have. Because you must remember something. Suddenly you say one million, but then you have a lot of negative thoughts inside the crime. Suddenly, like June says, I'm clever, but the inside there, the brain says, I was stupid, don't say that. <laughs> so you say, I love you, I'm sorry, so you're cleansing, 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 cleansing. So this is the one that goes in, clears all the viruses inside your memory, all is clear, and you're going to protect you. So you need to say all the time. All the time. Um, okay? That's the end of my talk. Any questions? You have to take three, three, three questions. Any questions? Anybody? Yes, sir. Nazir? I, I have been for other applications before, but they said that if people 
Okay, see this one? I, I love you, I'm sorry, I'm going to Okay, this, this is what I need to know. Huh? Uh, as if question is very simple, huh? sometimes you don't forgive people, okay? And because of that, negative energy is always there. So obviously, you want to forgive. But this gentleman said just now, I, uh, I cannot forgive, that's uh, so I can forgive, but I cannot forgive. Yeah. So a lot of people will say the same thing. I can forgive only but I cannot forgive anymore. So for me, I'm not in a position to argue with it because I don't know how big deal was the experience for you. Does it make sense? I mean, all of us, sometimes if I say forgive, you say cannot not have to. So what I tell you is, listen, if you can't forgive to that person, the universe is very powerful. All you have to do is to say this for, I love you, I'm sorry to you, to the universe, the universe will then create it for you. Rather than you physically, personally, must look at the person and say for you. Actually, Rajiv, sometimes if you know you've heard somebody and telling them one thing, but let me tell you something. We have heard more people we don't even know. Are you following me? We have heard more people that you don't know. People you know you've heard is very few you know.
coaching and with more guidance, with more push, then you must come from the, the one day program because then I can guide you further. So it's 199. Uh, if you register today, now, if you don't have the money at least pay 50 ringgit, uh, register yourself with 50 ringgit. Within this week, you'll get an email, then you must pay the balance. After this, this if you don't register today, then it's 699 if you want to come on the 21st now. Okay? Now, I must also tell you that uh, Wawasan uh, Open University has an offer for you. For those of you who are not a student at all, if you decide to sign up for any of the courses that they have today, then on the 21st it's free for you. But only 10 seats are available, right? Only 10 seats. So if any of you sign up for any of the Wawasan Open University courses, I know those of you already signed up, don't say, Mr. Kati, why you never last time? Don't want to it. <laughs> but today, if you're not signed up any courses, if you do sign up for any of the courses, uh, you will get a free ticket for the 21st, which means you, it's free for you to attend by one day program. Um, so, if you are, uh, in my email address, I'll give you an interview because email. Now, the other thing I want to tell you is very simple. One of the reasons my company got, because this is especially for those of you who are all signed for business students, and those of you who want to be here, uh, my company, uh, if you go to my website, you know, my company has got a lot of consultants, we do a lot of programs. I have been looking for universities that actually want to have things like law of attraction, things like that can grow people's brain and do well. A lot of universities have grown, they only think about uh, academic life, you know? So I was very, very impressed with Wawasan when I actually managed to speak to them and they wanted to align with my company to do programs. I've got actually some of my trainers here with me, Salama, can you stand up? Salama is my trainer. Uh, Moira, can you stand up? Moira is my trainer. Selena, please stand up. She's my trainer. And I have one more trainer at the back. That's Frame. We can just give him a round of applause. Frame is here. I have uh, 53 trainers with me. And all my trainers are law of attraction trainers. You can go and talk to any one of them with advice. You all of them do this progress. And the reason why I say this is because if you are uh, in Wawasan Open you should be very thankful because I think uh, it's good that they understand how important that adult learning must be put in with regards to the mind power. This is very, really amazing. And uh, for those of you who want to do the program, I think you should because uh, a lot of my consultants and I are going to work with that. They don't know about that. We're going to do a lot of talks like this, free talks like this. Every three months, we're going to do a lot of free talks. So hopefully, if you're a student, you can actually come back and then get benefit from some of these talks in the coming years. Because we just signed an agreement with them, so we're going to come and every two, three months, we're going to do free talks like this. They will do it in a lot of topics. So hopefully, we'll be able to benefit. But in any case, before I pass over to the I want to say thank you very much for this opportunity that you've given me. Uh, my job today was to just enlighten you about our law of attraction. Um, there's a lot of homework to be done, uh, but there's enough for you today to succeed. And you can always email me. Every email I get, I will respond personally. But you tell you to decide whether you're going to get with me. Outside, there's a registration for those who want to sign up today for the one day program. Please do so. Okay, you don't have to pay 199 today. At least pay a free again because you're going to pay. So with that, thank you very much. Have a great time today. I hope you did good.